The 2023 writer's strike lasted 144 days and the dual strikes have cost Hollywood an estimated $6 billion. Now remember, writers are independent contractors for the most part, which means that you were, if, if you were building a house or if you were putting in a swimming pool as an independent contractor, that's four months of no work. The impact of that was felt close to home for some members of the community. Honestly, we um, go on strike and then when the actors jump on board and then the production completely shut down, that was the beginning of a work stoppage for, and in Santa Clarita, we have a lot of people who work in the film industry and a lot of them suddenly found their jobs on hold. Despite working amongst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, some residents now found themselves in a difficult situation. It is a struggle. Um, there are food banks that have opened so generously to families like ours. Um, um, my kids grew up here. We come to the park here for many years being a resident of Santa Clarita. Now with the rise of cost of gas and, and food and everything else, it makes it very, very rough. But for some, even assistance from community resources wasn't enough. Just a plain chocolate dip. I guess. Okay. With David finding himself opening up a stand at the Old Town Newhall Farmer's Market. We're all just trying to make a living to survive. Some of us are in the industry and some of us are not, but this is where I'm at. With stories like David's being common throughout the industry, it has left some to question if the strike was worth it. Everybody was without a paycheck for four months. The first question I ask everyone is, are you gonna recoup what you lost over that four month period? And a lot of people will not. Thanks to David, there was at least one sweet silver lining. Reporting for Kenya's News, I'm Eli Kern.